check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I like it, but at the same time, I get very subconscious of myself, you know? <laughs> Especially when you watch it. Yeah, you yeah. start watching yourself back and you say, it's like you think your voice is like here, but then you watch it back. Get that look at that man. That's Logan. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to jump right to it. So one of the things I want to do with my channel is spotlight people that I've met through my automotive experience and feature their cars because we see all of the super popular cars you know blasted all over social media but we don't see gems like this CB7 back here <laughs> anyways well today we're going to feature this car right here it is a Honda Accord CB7 and it is what year Logan 92. My Integra's a 92. There, you go. there we go. It's a 1992 Honda Accord CB7. And it's got a pretty unique story, or at least I think it's got a pretty unique story to it that we're going to let Logan tell us here in a minute. But just, it's a really cool car. It can be dailied, but right now it's it is mostly a track car. And you don't see... You see Integras, you see Civics, you see, you know, all those being track cars, but you don't see a four-door Accord being a track car. And it is just clean. Like I said, the car has an interesting story behind it, and you'll understand why I feel like this is so cool, because all this has been redone new carpet nrg seat that momo steering wheel everything has been redone and it's just it's just an awesome car that that needs to be shared with the world all right logan are you ready to stand in front of the camera and talk <laughs> oh man so i guess i guess we'll start with like the first time you saw this car like the first time you actually got it 
first time meaning that he's owned this car two different times. <laughs> okay. So the first time that I seen it was on Craigslist. Um, and I was actually going to buy the car to flip it. So I bought it and um, it was a one owner car. I had all the paperwork. Um, it was a super nice car. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I bought the car. I got it home. Um, I did a couple things to it. I cleaned it up, detailed it, and uh, I parked it out at my parents' place for sale. And I had it out there maybe a week or two. Um, and one more, my mom, she called me and she was like, hey, did you pick your cord up? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, that's gone. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I was like, dang, I can't believe somebody stole it. You know, big deal. It's just, I just kind of was like, I'll never see it again. Um, a week later, uh, the cops called me and was like, hey, we found your car. It's up in Simpsonville. It was about an hour from me. Um, so we went to go get it, me and my wife. We drove up there and uh, it was at a, uh, a towing yard. And when I seen it, I was like, that is not my car. <laughs> this side had been spray painted black. Which side was painted black? This side, actually. Yeah, it was the whole side. Go show us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so from here all the way down, it was spray painted black. And the hood was spray painted white. Um, and the bumper was spray painted either white or black. I can't remember. Um, and they had ripped the hubcaps off of it. They had spray painted like the tires and the wheels. And the interior was trash. It was like needles and just all kinds of just nasty. It was soaked with gas. Like they were about to light it on fire. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was like, dang, what am I going to do with this thing? I couldn't make my mind up. I had to pay like $400 to get it out of the towing yard. And uh, so I did. I got it. I got it back. And I was like, man, I just don't know if, you know, I don't know if I want to fix it up or just part it out or scrap it. So long story short, I wound up, I repainted this. Uh, side here it's not perfect i'm not a professional this is actually spray paint <laughs> um it works <laughs> hey it works it looks pretty pretty good in my opinion it's lasted for a long time so i repainted it and um i gutted the whole car um i was actually gonna autocross this car um me and blake and another guy one of our good friends we were all gonna autocross and uh this was the only thing i had at the time and so I stripped it out and put some suspension on it and um, then I seen a Civic <laughs> and, um, it was an EG8 and I was like yo I don't want that car right there so I was like I'm gonna sell the CB7 so I sold it I sold it to a guy down in Union um, super nice guy I sold this thing for a grand and <laughs> I probably had that in parts when I was old. but you know, you win some, you lose some, whatever. Um, he daily drove the car for a solid year, um, and he loved it. And he actually sold the car to one of his buddies, and the car broke down and sat on the side of the road in Jonesville, South Carolina, for like a good solid month. Because uh, I run a delivery route, and I seen the car. That's how I was like, "What? That's my old car," you know. And it just sat there and somebody actually tagged it and spray painted like all kinds of junk on the side of it. And uh, I messaged him. I messaged the guy on Facebook and I was like, what's up with the Accord, you know? And he's like, oh, I sold one of my buddies. I shouldn't have sold it, you know? He trashed it out or whatever. I was like, okay, whatever. So long story short, he, uh, he wound up buying the car back and sold it to his boss. Um, his boss, he owed his boss some money. So he actually kind of like traded the car and his boss was like, I don't need the Accord. So he put it on Craigslist and of course I'm always looking at Craigslist and the marketplace. And <laughs> um, I seen this thing and I was like, dang, gosh, I hate that I'm seeing this right now. And it's like, man, I, you know, for some reason I've always had a soft spot for these cars and, and I was like, I got to get this thing back. So. I sold my Civic. <laughs> I sold my Civic to this guy. He's a super nice guy, and he actually liked it. So I was like, you know, whatever. So I bought it back, and uh, I got it to the house, and I went through pretty much the whole car again. Uh, believe it. Or
it or not, uh, it was kind of trashed again. So <laughs> I went through the whole thing. Um, you you did you did like the complete suspension, like you redid everything, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every bushing is brand new. Um, I used a lot of urethane bushings. Um, trailing arm bushings, everything's replaced, control arms. Um, it's got full coilovers, camber kits. What kind of coilovers? Uh, Yanaka coilovers. Um, this man yo, loves some Yanaka coilovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody hates, but I don't care. I'm the <laughs> one that's gonna run it. <laughs> and you gotta tell them about the wheels. Yeah, so I've always loved RPF1s as a kid, but I never could afford them, so I finally saved up my pennies and <laughs> got, finally got me a set. Uh, they're not the exact offset that I wanted. Uh, they don't make many wheels that are in 4x114 that yeah. I like. All of them are like 18s and 19s. Yeah. Just crazy stuff, you know. Um, and these are 15s, right? These are 16s. Oh, they're 16s? Yeah, they're 16 by 7 um, They're a 43 offset. And I have a... 205 50 16 on there Dang. tire. that's a good amount of tire yeah considering yeah. what it comes with i think it comes with a it's like a 195 75 14. Mm -hmm. it's like you're driving a bicycle <laughs> 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 in this big old car so but yeah um, i love it um, you can thrash on this car as much as you want this car has three hundred and thirty thousand stock original motor let's look at the motor because you, you <laughs> did like the valve cover and and plugs and plug wires on it didn't you yeah yeah it's uh um i haven't really done a whole lot to the motor um, it's got a ebay header intake uh that's pretty much it <laughs> yeah, but it still looks i mean it's pr it probably it's like these cars come stock with like 120 horsepower, but this thing is so clapped out. <laughs> There's no telling. But it's actually pretty quick for what it is. I think so, you know. Um, and this is the F22 what, A1? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is a uh, LX. See, I think, you remember like in the early 2000s, like with the, the, the whole ricer like appeal, everyone like would put wheels on it or or something like that this isn't that way like everything's done like it's clean like the whole thing's clean and you've done little things to make it like just a little bit better in yeah. ways it's yeah. like you you did the breather right here i mean it looks good yeah yeah it's simple but i was thinking more of uh reliability yeah you know what i mean i want to be able to drive the car it still has AC. I redid all the AC. Um, all new motor mounts, new CV axles. I mean, it's wheel bearings. And it looks good. You took the time to like clean the motor up, and you painted you painted the front end of it too, right? When yeah. You, when you yeah, cleaned it. Like, <laughs> I mean, but it, flashy, it, but <laughs> it looks good. If 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 I was yeah. at a show and I saw the hood up on this, I would I would immediately be drawn to it. Yeah. Valve like cover it. looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, is that, is that zip ties? That is good old zip ties. Oh my gosh, that looks wonderful. Yeah, I use zip ties on everything. <laughs> zip ties are actually holding my rear bumper on. There is no. Um, I mean, the zip ties were holding the bumper on my first Integra. Hey. Probably still is yeah. somewhere. I took the uh, like the rear bumper reinforcement and everything out and kind of lighted it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just zip tied them. And, hey, it's worked so far. <laughs> yeah. oh, it looks good. Let's let's talk about the interior. Okay. I mean, obviously, new carpet. Yeah. Because you can kind of tell that, and it looks fantastic. I love the color. <laughs> you can't tell it, but that's there. You go in this light. It looks blue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What all you did? Like you had to paint some stuff in here to make everything match, didn't you? Yeah. So when I. When I got the car back, um, he had put this seat in here. When I sold it to him, I sold it to him with, I think it had two tan seats in it. And he had this seat in here and he had a red seat in the back. So I just trashed everything. There was no carpet in here. And I wanted to keep it that, you know, have that Trek car vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. 
but I you didn't can see the remnants of it being stripped. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, so. But well, still, I mean, for it being stripped, that looks pretty good, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm happy with it. It's not, you know, this isn't a SEMA car or anything like that, you know, but. It runs better than SEMA cars. Hey, it's a good car. <laughs> But I wanted, you know, I was like, hey, you know, I kind of think I'd like put some carpet in here. And I found this blue carpet on good old eBay, my favorite place. And I've never put like new carpet in a car and you have to cut it and trim it. And it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, mm -hmm. I put this console, I put everything in the console and the new shift boot. It's got a hybrid racing uh, shift knob. The door panels were actually blue. I bought those off of eBay and painted them black. They look good. Um, I added the Momo, the Monte Carlo wheel, and the NRG quick release, and the NRG seat. Um, it's bolted straight to the floor. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I finished kind of, it had some clips here and there when I got it back. I just took those off, and I mean, that's pretty, I put a radio in it. I still gotta have that radio. You know? Yeah, you gotta have that radio. Yeah, I gotta have my AC. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't you, going without AC. <laughs> you will be the envy of track days. <laughs> Shoot, man. Oh, man. In between, I'll just turn that air on and cool off. But yeah, I love it. You know. yeah. It's a great car, too. Yeah, yeah. I've actually been able to drive it. I've, <laughs> from So, in, in, in a high school, in high school and stuff, I... I didn't like Hondas in high school, like at all. You can you can ask him. I, I really didn't. And yeah. then you had the what was a '93 Integra. '91. It was '90. He had a '91 Integra, and I, I loved that thing. It was fun. We had some good times in it, and <laughs> and you treated it right. I mean, you didn't do anything, you know, crazy to it. It was just it was a fun car. Yeah. I think it was the same color, wasn't it? It's actually it was uh, that Jasper green metallic, so it was yeah. a little different. So like, when I started, when I bought my first Integra, I had a 1990 Integra, it was white. We stripped it, but I started to kind of appreciate them a lot more. But I always told Logan, it's like, I hate Accords. <laughs> like, own personal reasons, but I hate Accords. And we got, you let me drive it, what, like a month or two ago? Yeah. And you, like the first thing you said was like, Man, I'd never see the day where Blake was driving in a core. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a wonderful car. I appreciate you letting me stick a camera in your face and talk to you about it. And, Shoot, yeah. And stuff, and hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I'm going to try and do more videos like this. I've got some more friends with some... They've got just different builds. I mean, yeah, they're, they're built Accords out there and stuff, but... There's not one like this. And I've got some other videos in mind, other friends in mind that I'm gonna start talking to about doing this. Maybe every two or three episodes we'll do this, or two or three videos. Yeah, everybody's getting off work. This is the outro as soon as this minivan goes by, <laughs> and then we have like 20 seconds till the other car gets here. All right. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning about Logan's CB7. If you've enjoyed seeing his car and want to see more Honda content, uh, check out Homestead Hondas. That's his Instagram page, and it's a pretty cool, pretty cool Instagram to look at. It's just bare bones, grassroots kind of kind of stuff. And he does Civics, Accords, even Integra sometimes. But check him out, and if you can, give the channel a like, a subscribe, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.